Welcome everybody to part 8 of Binding of Isaac Explained, Synergies. Today we talk about items and how they work together. Or don't work together. Da -da -da -da. Usually items only have very specific effect, like for example this triple shot. It does nothing but ha now you shoot three bullets and you take longer to shoot again. Slower firing rate I guess. It doesn't say slow firing rate, but it's pretty expected. And you have other other things like homing bullets. They, well, they just make all your bullets home in. It's pretty self-explanatory as well. And in, in these cases, there's no synergy problem. You can have triple shot and then your bullets will home in. It works perfectly. But it's not always so easy. Like, what if you have quad shot and triple shot? Well, the simple way I did it back in the day is that it just overrides. So you just end up with the better version, which would be quad shot. And then you have just that. You just have four bullets instead of three. But how should it work? Should you have seven bullets? Will you be reloading much slower? Well, these are all questions they had to ask themselves in Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I think they, they settled for seven bullets and I guess it can't be firing too fast, can it? Or is it just OP? I, I don't know, maybe it's just OP. <laughs> That's fun too. <laughs> and then there's some things that are unexpectedly hard. Or at least you wouldn't expect it as a player. Like for example, if you have homing and penetration, then what do you get? Well, you get a homing bullet that may be able to penetrate, but it'll still home in on that enemy that it penetrated. Every bullet can only hit the enemy once, right? So it just circles that enemy without being able to do anything making essentially the penetration useless. But there was an easy way to fix that conveniently, because there's a, an array where it saves every enemy that it's hit, so it can't hit the enemy twice. So the way I fixed that was made it so that it can't home in on an enemy that's on that list. And now it just homes in, penetrates, and then homes in on the next enemy. And that's how it should be. That's how that synergy should be expected to work. And I specifically had to fix that one because, well, I don't know, I just came up with that idea myself. I don't think Edmund told me those two items have a bad synergy fix. I think I must have fixed it myself. I, I might be remembering it wrong, but that's it. When I made the items, I thought I, I, I had the presence of mind to remember that they might have bad synergy. And then I made it so they didn't never had bad synergy. I just fixed them before they were ever a problem. But then there's that one bad synergy that every Binding of Isaac Vanilla player knows about. The Ipecac and the My Reflection. My Reflection makes your bullets come back to you, they home back to you. And Ipecac makes your bullet fly in an arc over, over blocks sometimes and then they explode like a grenade. A grenade of vomit. Beautiful, beautiful vomit. But if you have both of those items, you're gonna be in trouble because, well, you would expect that that would actually be cool, wouldn't you? You would expect, yeah, I shoot out the, ho the, ho the puke and it comes back to me and I will already have moved on so it won't hit me. Oh, but no, sir. That's not how it used to be. You see, my reflection also gives you a range increase. Because, well, you wouldn't notice your bullets come back to you if they didn't live long enough to come back to you. And Ipecac has a strange relation with range increases. Because it also makes your bullets go much higher. So what happens is that now the bullet goes super high because it has the range increase from both of the items. Well, Ipecac has a strange way of working. It makes it so your bullets come out with much higher upwards velocity, but they're also much more strongly affected by gravity. And then my reflection has the opposite effect, where the gravity is decreased on the, on the tears, and that's how it increases range. So you can see how that would be a huge problem, because now the tear just flies off screen really high, and then all you have is a shadow of a bullet that's homing in on you and eventually it's going to explode when the bullet hits the ground. But you're not going to have much time to react to it because the bullet is so high up. You're going to see it coming down and then the next second it's going to explode on you. And that's why Ipecac and my reflection was a terrible synergy at the time. And only with the eternal update I finally got around to fixing it. Sorry about that one. 
Stuff like that's a moderate challenge. I mean, what are there, like 200 items? I guess I should have tested every one of them with every other one of them. How many options would that be? I mean, I guess I could have tested like five at a time. That, that could have been good. And I can ignore stuff like health ups. They're not gonna have bad synergies. Or are they? No, no, they're not. <laughs> But stuff that's a real challenge is how do you handle really special items like brimstone and mom's knife? What are you gonna do? You're gonna have both? You're gonna have? You're gonna throw up knives? You're gonna ha you're gonna shoot Ipecac but still have a knife that's facing where you're facing, but you can't shoot the knife? Well, I just took the easy way out and I said, knife overrides brimstone. Boom, easy. But what they did in reverse, you might find more interesting. Because they thought, yeah, Binding of Isaac is cool, but what if we add all kinds of crazy synergies? And now if you get Brimstone and Mom's Knife, you throw up knives out of your mouth. Poor guy. <laughs> it's probably not that much work if you think about it. I mean, you just have the Brimstone and instead of a laser you just have knives. I mean, that's... Actually, that's a lot of work, you know? That could be an item all by itself. And you just made it as a rare synergy that 99% of all players will never see. Okay, I guess I applaud your thoroughness. That, that's pretty cool. How many of those crazy high-tech synergies did they do? How much effort went into them? When I made Brimstone, it was just like a GIF or, or whatever. Well, I mean, essentially it was like a GIF. And then what they have is a laser that can home in too, and it can curve and all kinds of crazy stuff. Wow. Well, I couldn't have done that with just like a gif of a, <laughs> of a laser. Well, I guess because it's flash. I, I would have had to cut it into pieces. I guess I could have done it, but I'm definitely too lazy. A homing brimstone? Madness. And when does it end? If you do it in flash and you have a lot of lasers and they can all home in, that's a lot of lag you're gonna have. Well, good thing they made their own engines and they have really smooth lasers. That's pretty cool. Well, sadly, I didn't put that much thought into synergies. I just wanted to make everything work. Like, if you get Dr. Feeders and you get homing, then I guess it grants you the, the homing power-up for, for bombs. Pretty random, huh? But I guess that's what you get. And that's what I did, I think. Yeah, I, I didn't do any crazy synergies that are really worth seeing, unless I f I'm forgetting them. Hmm. I didn't consider that's what the cool kids would be into, but I guess they would be if they have like a thousand Let's Play videos of Isaac on their channel. I guess then the, the synergies are really where the money's at. That's what we want to see. Crazy synergies, please. Well... In my next game, I'll, I'll have synergies, I'll have all kinds of synergies. There's like one item that makes it so like half of your bullets are, are little stars that just ineffectually fly off. That's a good item, trust me. And then you can have rockets late, uh, as well. And then the rockets also shoot little stars out of them. Isn't that cool? I did some synergies. You wouldn't even consider those. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I get hyped for Squid Invaders whenever it actually gets finished. <laughs> Alright, subscribe for more Binding of Isaac Explained. And let me know, are there any other synergies that you want to have explained? Maybe I'll make a second video about more synergies. There's many more Binding of Isaac Explained videos to come. I have many ideas of what I'm going to talk about. I'm probably going to have like five of them talk about different bosses that I made. So that's going to be cool.